But let's get right into today's topic. Today I want to deal with God's benefits. God's benefits. Psalm 103, 2 to 5 states the following. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. I'm going to come back to that. Who forgives you your iniquities, who heals your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed as the eagle. <coughs> I want to tell you right now that God is in control. He loves us and he has given us benefits. I want you to understand we have benefits that are ours. Things that God has given us that we should be walking in. Go and read the rest of that psalm. There are so many benefits that are given to us. But here comes the catch. The Bible is very clear. Do not forget his benefits. Do not forget what he has got in store for you, what he has paid the price for, and what he wants to do for you. I want to tell you right now that God is busy moving in a mighty way in our lives, but he's asking us always to remember and to call on the things that he has paid the price for. So many times we get busy, we get sidetracked, our attention is taken somewhere, that we lose the power of what he has paid in our lives. You see, what has happened is, is that we don't apply it. We don't remember it. And so, yeah, David is writing and he says, My soul, you must remember the benefits that God has got for you. Everything that has been paid for for you is there for a reason and God has got a plan. The benefits that God has for us is amazing. It's absolutely uh, incredible what God has done for us. And so we must not forget what God has done and the price that has been paid for us because we lose out. We lose out everything that God has done and instituted in our lives. And we're walking around with these benefits, but we're just not claiming them. And so I want us to know this morning as we come around the table that we must claim the benefits. We must continually call on God and keep on calling on the benefits which is ours in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, so this morning, as we come around the table, let us remember the promises and the benefits that are ours. Let us claim them into our lives. Let us see them being uh, into fulfillment because God has got something awesome in store for each and every believer. Amen. All right, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it and he said that this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. All right. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing in Jesus' name. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The blood of Christ was shed for your salvation, protection and provision. And so as we take of these elements today, let us think and remember the benefits that are ours in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us remember what Jesus Christ has done and the price that has been paid for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for your anointing. We thank you, Lord, for your, your power and the price that you have paid in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask you right now in the mighty name of Jesus to move by your spirit in our lives. Lord, we thank you that as we take communion, we are going to remember the benefits that are ours through the power of Jesus Christ. And through the blood that was shed on Calvary for us. Lord, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you, Lord, that you are moving by your spirit in and through each and every believer in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, we come before you this morning. We thank you, Lord, for a supernatural healing to take place in our bodies. We thank you, Lord, that by your stripes we were healed and we command every symptom to leave our body. We thank you, Lord, that as we stand on your word, Lord, we thank you that your word says that by your stripes we were healed. And Lord, that every single sickness has got to bow its knee in Jesus' name. And Lord, that it's one of our benefits that you heal our diseases. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for divine health. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, I want to tell you right now that God is in control. God loves us. God is awesome. All right. I want to just thank you, saints, for coming online and for being part of what God is doing across this nation. I want us to get ready. Know that Jesus Christ is alive. Know that Jesus Christ is busy with something amazing in and through each believer's life. And so today I just want to just celebrate the fact that God loves us. God loves us. God cares for us. God has got something amazing. And He's calling on the body of Christ to come into action and to be mobilized in the name of Jesus. All right, so as we deal with this weekend, please, I don't want you to just get any bit of fear. There's no fear connected to this whatsoever. All right, it's a very, very simple thing. The Bible says that the principalities and powers and er everything that's around, the rulers of this age have been disarmed. Jesus Christ has disarmed them. And it's a very simple thing of what is going on. All right. As the devil comes to release something or to plan something, if you do not give it any resistance, it is going to take hold. I'll give you an example. It's like if you have an, a, a wild dog come into your house. If you do not resist it, it's going to just carry on and take over. But if you resist it and say, get out or whatever you use, okay, whatever language or word you use, it is going to respond to that and get out. Now, the very same happens in the spirit world. Whatever has been released is going to take place and take hold unless the believer is restricted. The minute you restrict it, it is restricted. It is stopped. It is, it is bound and it cannot move and operate. And so that is what we are going to do. And remember that the highest authority always wins. So who's the highest authority? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is always your highest authority. And so what's going to happen is we are going to just bring Jesus Christ into the, uh, into the situation. And we, as we stand, biblical principles are going to apply. And so we are not attacking any individual. We are simply restricting anything that comes from any practice that is ungodly. So... And what, why do we do that? To protect our nation. All right. Remember that those demonic spirits are only there to kill, st steal, and to destroy. They are not there for any other positive reason at all. Now, what we're going to do is this. Six o'clock tonight, we are going on starting our fast. We are fasting from six until six tomorrow evening. And then six o'clock, Heinz Winkler is going to come and lead us in worship. And he's going to lead us for as long as his voice can hold. And thereafter, we are then going to cross over to uh, worship essay for the rest of the evening. All right? So we've got to worship the whole night. Why are we worshiping? Because we are entering his gates with thanksgiving, entering his courts with praise. We are bringing in a biblical thing of calling in God's presence onto our nation. Where God is, Satan can't be. All right? He's not, God is not going to allow Satan to take over our nation. The saints are going to stand together and we're going to call this thing in place in Jesus' name. All right. And then tomorrow morning from 9 a.m., we are going to, every hour on the hour, we are going to start releasing the word of God. As we release the word of God as a nation, we're going to stand in agreement. You are five minutes after the message has been uh, to be broadcast. You won't get it on WhatsApp. You spread that as far as wide as possible. And then everybody's going to start agreeing with that. And everybody's going to start standing in agreement with, with the word. And so for that whole hour, the, there's an umbrella that has been created over our nation. Then we're ready for the next scripture. So the whole day, the word of God is going out. Now, while this is happening, remember that we are fasting and we are releasing the word. We're standing in agreement. All right. And we are releasing the power of God over our nation the whole time. While this is all happening, there are groups of intercessors that are specifically targeting certain things. So I want you to understand, we've all got a role to play. It's like when you go into battle, you have some guys that fly jets, some guys that ride on the ground, some troops that walk on the ground, some guys are shooting, some guys are, are checking out the terrain. There's different uh, functions happening all at the same time. So when we call the body of Christ, it's not everybody just doing this. There are different people with different assignments all on the same project. 
You might not see them, you might not know them, but every single one of us create an umbrella over our nation. And so I want to just bless you this morning. I want to thank you for reporting for duty. And I'm going to ask you to be ready from six o'clock tonight. All right. So today what we're going to do is we're going to pray over our economy. We're still going to release the power and the blessing of the Lord over our nation in Jesus' mighty name. So let's pray together. Lord, I thank you right now in Jesus' name. That as we come together as the body of Christ, we stand in agreement and we pray over the economy of South Africa. We thank you, Lord, that every single um, uh, uh, area of our economy, Lord, every sector is blessed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray over the hospitality industry particularly. I release the power of God over that industry. Father, I thank you for your blessing. And Lord, that every single sector will be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for those that are raising altars in the businesses. Lord, I release the power of God upon them. I thank you for the blessing of the Lord on them. And Lord, that they will restrict every demonic thing over their business. And Lord, that the power of God will be seen over each and every business. Lord, right now, I pray for our farmers this morning. Father, I pray for their protection. I pray for the blessing of God over them. And Father, I pray for a supernatural crop healed this year in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for rain over our nation. We release the power of God. We thank you for the little bit that has fallen. But God, we reverse the curse of the drought. And Lord, we declare life over our nation and blessing over our nation in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this COVID virus. We command it to die, to dissipate, and to leave our nation. Lord, we thank you that every single, uh, every single sign of COVID be totally destroyed off our nation. And Lord, that it disappears. Father, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that every hospital has zero COVID patients. And that the blessing of the Lord is being made manifest and we are going to see the power of God right across our manifest right across our nation in Jesus mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to bless you. I want to just encourage you to move with the power and might of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to go out there and know that God is moving. God is busy. God is going to do something amazing in and through each believer as we just do what we are called to do. And so I just want to ask you, please, just to keep praying for us and keeping us up in prayer, just so that we just hear right and do what God has called us to do in Jesus mighty name. That the strategy that we are doing and using is exactly what God wants us to do and how to go ahead and do everything that, he, that needs to be done in our nation. Amen. All right, let's get to our believer's declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have increased assets. I have great victories. I have recognition. I have prominence. I have petitions granted. I have policies and rules changed. I have battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. 